Conservation really starts with relationships, relationships people have with places and issues. And citizen science gets people actually literally asking questions and going and looking for answers and being engaged with a conservation issue in a very tangible, real way. With the Citizen Wildlife Monitoring Project, we have a series of teams uh, that monitor remote wildlife cameras and snow tracking both on the north and south side of I-90. We've been collecting data about wildlife and their presence. That goes to project partners with Washington State Department of Transportation, the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, our Forest Service partners, biologists with Okanagan Wenatchee National Forest and Mount Baker Snoqualmie National Forest. This has been a big collection of data that started in 2006 and 7. Canada lynx, gray wolves, and wolverines are really iconic species for the Pacific Northwest. And so uh, we're hoping to help facilitate research and better understanding of their populations in Washington state. And for each of our target species, we'll have a different set of criteria of things that we're looking at, which will include quality habitat for the animal, and then some specific conservation interests. So for wolverines, we've got an interest in looking for species in places they haven't been, and then monitoring the existing population, like indi specific individuals. With wolves, we're gonna be looking in places where there isn't a documented population that we know of, so it's really focusing on identifying new areas of wolf activity. We've got over 100 volunteers every year, and we've got a few core people that continue year after year after year, which are just amazing volunteers, but we do get a lot of influx of new people, and what I hope is that, you know, they are learning about our native wildlife in Washington State, and they're also inspiring passion for our native wildlife and sharing that with people that they interact with on a daily basis. I grew up in the Cascades. I've just always been enamored with wildlife because you don't see it. you got to go search for it. And the stuff that comes by your camera, some days it will just knock your socks off, you know? It's like, I've been hunting for years for something like that. The wolverine. You know, just such an amazing species and, you know, incredible going up and over this huge peak and, you know, what would take me hours and hours and hours. And it was kind of a natural because we, you know, spend a lot of time traveling around in the winter, mm -hmm. uh, big backcountry skiers. You find out that there's an animal that actually specializes in winter travel and that's its thing and, uh, you know, and it's making a comeback here. It's like, well, yeah, we gotta, gotta help out. It's been really amazing the last 10 years working with Conservation Northwest and um, just seeing animals throughout the year because, it, you know, for instance, on the wolverine cameras, uh, even though we're tracking for wolverines in the wintertime, uh, one of the things that the cameras have shown is that once the snow melts, then the bears come out and we get bears in the cameras from, you know, April through, you know, October, November. So you just see the different animals at different points. And as a hiker, it's interesting to know you know, that they're out there and how recently, because on the camera sometimes, you know, I've just missed them by hours. I see behaviors and I'm like, I wonder what that is and why they do that. And so I think that's one of the other cool things about citizen science is that it gives people the opportunity to ask questions. It gives people the opportunity to ask, why did the animal do this thing? There are a number of sites that have been kind of long standing and used for a number of years. They'll have the camera set up and then they'll have the run poles, which they use to try and get um, identifying markers, so like wolverines will have like a unique chest blaze um, that you can actually use to decide, like is this a particular individual? The Citizens Wildlife Monitoring Project, it's only a, a, a piece of a larger um, uh, understanding. And you're giving back. You're paying it forward for the next generation in a way. So even though I'm just monitoring a camera, but you know what's out there and other people are going to think about that more. The more we can engage people and communities in these topics and get them educated about what's actually happening on the ground out there, I think the more our social and cultural conversations will be informed by the realities of what's happening in the natural world and that can only benefit conservation in the long run. I would encourage people to, to get outside, to get curious about the world around them and to allow it to give back to them when they go out and explore. You know, when you're out doing things in the woods, you're in tune with it, you want to see more of it, and you want to see it keep going, you don't want to see it lost. Mm -hmm.